Here we have a lymph node which looks quite abnormal. We don't see normal lymphatic follicles with sharply outlined and polarized germinal centers. And the overall architecture is faced with diffused vaguely nodular infiltrate. In some areas we see dark infiltration, but here, here, and here we can recognize slightly lighter vague nodules without clear borders and without germinal centers. When we see lymph node that looks like this one, we can suspect lymphoproliferation or in other words lymphoma. Uh, so let's zoom in to find out what kind of cells can be found in these diffuse and nodular areas. Um, we see that the darker zone is composed of uniform small mature lymphocytes with a round dark nuclei without visible cytoplasm. And the vague nodules on the other hand, uh, on the other hand consist of larger cells with bigger nuclei with dispersed chromatin and therefore they have lighter color on low magnification. Uh, these cells with uh, central dark nucleoli are called prolymphocytes. And we also have another types of cells uh, with uh, slightly larger central eosinophilic nucleoli and those are called paraimmunoblasts. Here we have another detail of prolif proliferation center. So these cells are called prolymphocytes and the larger cells with uh, eosinophilic centrally located nucleoli, those are paraimmunoblasts. So paraimmunoblasts are here, here, here and here. And the other cells are prolymphocytes. So these nodules are called proliferation centers and this is the classical appearance of chronic lymphocytic leukemia or small lymphocytic lymphoma or simply CLL, SLL. Uh, the neoplastic cells of, the, uh, of this disease uh, could infiltrate the lymph nodes and we call that lymphoma or, and also bone marrow, spleen, peripheral blood. So they can be both lymphoma and leukemia but it is still the same type of disease, hence the name chronic lymphocytic leukemia slash small lymphocytic lymphoma. We always need to use immunohistochemistry to exclude other lymphomas that can look very similar. So the neoplastic cells in this case express B markers like CD19, CD20, and uh, most importantly, they express CD5 and CD23. Um, we usually need to make differential diagnosis when we see lymphoma, which consists of small B cells. And um, when we see the small small B cells, uh, we can suspect mature lymphoma. The vague nodular structure can be seen in follicular lymphoma. And um, however, the nodules in follicular lymphoma are usually more prominent, more numerous, packed sometimes uniform or round, uh, but follicular lymphoma can also be diffuse, like it could also look like, uh, like this lymph node. Uh, so we always need to use immunohistochemistry. Uh, the malignant cells in case of follicular lymphoma would have immunophenotype of germinal central B cells, so they will be BCL2 positive and CD10 positive and CD5 and CD23 negative. The vague nodules could be residual germinal centers in case of mantle zone lymphoma or marginal zone lymphoma. And the mantle cell lymphoma is CD5 positive and cyclin D1 positive. And the marginal zone lymphoma is diagnosis per exclusion when all these common markers, CD5, CD10 and CD23 are negative. Uh, however, the cells in marginal zone lymphoma usually have monocytoid characteristics with uh, more voluminous and light cytoplasm. Okay, so chronic lymphocytic leukemia or small lymphocytic lymphoma. Uh, thanks for watching.